Alzheimer's, a tsunami of this disease is upon us and the foundations for it are set in early life. But the good news is that you have dramatic ability to radically decrease your risk of this disease. Mostly our dietary choices are having a huge influence on the decay of the human brain globally and are explaining this absolute epidemic of an untreatable disease by conventional medicine called Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, we're really uh, hammering away at this profound relationship between even mild elevations of blood sugar uh, and risk for dementia and certainly uh, the ideas that we put forward about becoming type 2 diabetic and quadrupling your risk for Alzheimer's have been validated. Diet is key. And uh, truthfully, uh, this notion of a ketogenic diet has also been implemented in individuals with early stage cognitive decline and has been demonstrated to reverse their cognitive decline. Dr. Dale Bredesen certainly uses a higher fat ketogenic diet uh, in his protocol for Alzheimer's disease. And I think it really gets to the notion of <clears throat> why uh, a diet that's higher in sugar, higher in carbs, is so detrimental for the brain. You know, people in their 40s and 50s who are overweight and have elevated blood sugar, both of which cause inflammation, are putting themselves at risk for an untreatable condition called Alzheimer's dementia 24 years later or later in their lives when they get to be my age, for example. And once that happens, you know, there's actually very little that can be done, at least from a pharmaceutical perspective. So the lifestyle choices that people make earlier in life are very, very relevant in terms of charting their brain's destiny as they get